So let's study the anatomy of bone. Bone is a specialized type of connective tissue which has a unique histological appearance which enable it to carry out its numerous functions. The functions are one hematopoiesis, the formation of the blood cell from the hematopoietic stem cell found in bone marrow and the lipid and the mineral storages. The bone is a reservoir holding adipose tissue within the bone marrow and calcium within the hydroxyapatite crystals. Support bones form the framework and shape of the body and the protection especially the axial skeleton which surround the major organ of the body and osteology is a scientific study of the bone including the structure function development and it is derived from the greek word osteon meaning bone and logos study the components of bone bone is a specialized form of connective tissue and its components can be divided into cellular compound and co cellular component and the extracellular matrix so cellular components there are three types of cells in the bone that is the osteoblast osteocyte and the osteoclast Osteoblasts synthesize uncalcified, unmineralized extracellular matrix called the osteoid, and this was later become calcified and mineralized to form the bone. So this is the image osteoblast synthesizing the osteoid of the extracellular matrix. The osteocyte, as the osteoid mineralizes, the osteoblasts become entombed between the lamellae in the lacunae where they mature into osteocyte. They then monitor the minerals and protein to regulate the bone mass. So, pre-osteoblast turns to osteoblast and it meets osteoid osteocyte, mineralizing osteocyte, a mature osteocyte is the last. And osteoclasts are derived from the monocytes and re bone by releasing the H plus ions and the lysosomal enzymes and they are large and multinucleated cells. So, this is the image of the formation of the osteoclast with the starter as a hemopoietic stem cell, then the osteoclast precursor cell and first it is mononucleated, then become multinucleated and bone resoping. Osteoclast is the final. So, in short, the bone components can be widely classified into cellular and extracellular matrix. The cellular components are osteoblast, osteocyte and the osteoclast. The balance of osteoblast to osteoclast activity is crucial in the maintenance of the tissue structural integrity. It also plays a role in the conditions such as osteoporosis. So these are the four types of the bone cells that is osteocyte, osteoblast, osteogenetic cell and osteoblast. Now the extracellular matrix. The extracellular matrix refer to the molecules that provide the biochemical and the structural support to cells. The ECM of the bone is highly specialized and in addition to collagen and the associated protein usually found in the connective tissue, bone is impregnated with the mineral salts, in particularly calcium hydroxyapatite crystals. And these crystals associate with the collagen fibers, making the bone hard and strong. This matrix is organized into numerous thin layers known as lamellae. 